Hey, what's up guys, uh, Reballer here. I've got a new video of my new tablet, which I waited for a long time. And finally, I've got it uh, this morning, came this morning, the Acer Iconia Tab 7-inch tablet. Uh, it's um, got uh, Android Jelly Bean on it, NVIDIA Tegra 3 processor, quad-core. It got 8 gig, ra gig RAM with 1 gig memory and 7-inch uh, screen to make a pixel camera, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, and uh, a micro SD slot and HDMI out slot. Um, I've been wanting a 7-inch tablet for a long time now since Nexus 7 came out, but uh, the, although I really like the Nexus 7, I, I wanted the HDMI out because I'm a director and I like to have uh, that option uh, on the big screen of my videos when I'm traveling. I also want the expansion slot so I could transfer my videos into it the SD card slot and the Kindle Fire HD and Nexus 7 don't give me that option so Acer came up with this new tablet and it gave me exactly what I want the quad core processor and um, although I'm <laughs> I really have to um, I couldn't find any reviews of it and Acer didn't want to send it to anyone but maybe nobody's interested in Acer because you know Acer it's like supposed to be the Skoda of electronics but for me it's cheap it works so I got it Feels um feels good in the hand. Um, it has. I think it's based on the Nexus Seven. Just has the H HDMI out and the uh, USB. So there you go. On the side we've got HDMI out, micro HDMI out, micro USB. Um, that uh, microphone. At the bottom we've got nothing. On the other side we've got the volume rocker button and the uh, power on and off. And at the top we have. Uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack and micro US micro SD card slot so that's uh, that's nice so I could although it has 8 gig of RAM I can expand it to up to like 32 gig the uh, only downside is that the um, screen resolution is 1024 by 800 and uh, where the Nexus 7 and the Kindle Fire has got 1280 by 800 uh, in the box you get um, well, manuals and stuff I don't never read. Charger, um, which I like. It has that uh, remove detachable plug. So I'm, I travel to Europe, so I like the to put the and fun like it comes with the HDMI cable. So that was great. Um, so yeah, I travel to Europe and I do need that little adapter. I have a few of them at home. So yeah, so um, uh, it came charged. And um, the only, as I said, the only downside is you got 1024 resolution. But actually, that's not bad. I've look at it; it's sharp. It's there's no pixelation on the edges, and so it it looks pretty good. I've I, I'm glad <laughs> because I was really worried that I'm gonna see this pixelation, or, and it looks really nice and clean, uh, better than my old 10-inch uh, tab, uh, hands free hands back. Um, so it comes with the clean uh, jelly bean. Um, and uh, the latest one and um, there is a uh, few things which I have to work on of course is probably if I get to review this in a couple of weeks and let you know the whole story of it but uh, pretty fast as you would expect from a quad-core uh, Tegra 3 processor in there and uh, nice and responsive um, I'm really focusing on the crispness of the image because that's what I couldn't find, and I know people like, oh, it's ten twenty four, it's an Apple fair, whatever. But it's it's it looks great. I actually would give up the one two eighty resolution if I have memory slot expansion and HDMI out. And I've been looking at this thing real close, and I'm it's really nice and sharp, and so resolution is not really a problem. Now here's the other thing I've noticed. Believe it or not, it doesn't have um, a. Uh, I haven't yet tested it. I, haven't, I need to play a game and see. But I don't think it has a gyroscope. Uh, I've tried to flip it, and it does not flip. Uh, and I think, um, although the YouTube videos do play in uh, 16 by 9 mode, and I've looked into the setting, I could not find um, enable rotation in the display. So maybe uh, Acer is working on this to add it later in the updates. And um, but the, the YouTube videos, the browser, you, I, I, it's just. I mean, I've 
I've spent about 10 minutes with this tablet. I haven't yet fully, I need to f fully configure it and see what's going on. But from first impressions, I don't think they allow the screen rotation. But they, it might have a gyroscope inside. Uh, of course, you need that to play some games. But as you can see, it's an Android Jelly Bean in there. 4.1.1. So uh, hopefully Acer is going to do something about that because uh, rotating the screen is, uh, you want that in the browser, don't you? You, you want to see it in landscape mode. Uh, but uh, if, if they don't allow that, there should be a work around that. Maybe uh, there, w there are other browsers that allow you to um, flip the, the browser uh, screen. Everything is nice and smooth. I mean, I have no complaint whatsoever. For been using it, as I said, for just 15 minutes. Uh, I was also surprised to see that Flash works uh, off the website. So I, I have an embed YouTube video on my website, potchip.com. And I played the video and you will see it will work. So just still testing the rotation and there you go. We got no rotation, which is a little odd. Yeah, that screen is brand new, so they the pinch to zoom, you know, you gotta use the screen, you gotta have it, uh, it's too sticky for that to work, but now it, after, you know, using it for, for a while, it will, uh, it will be much more responsive, the touch screen, it's a brand new screen, so it will be sticky, but once you have, you have that layer removed, your finger, your sort of oilish fingerprint will remove that layer, and then you will be much more responsive. I wasn't expecting, and then, there we go, the video works, so, because normally Jelly Bean is not supposed to be flash compatible. So I'm still testing the, the rotation. Huh? Um, great. But the videos, if you go to the YouTube app and you play a video, it does play in landscape mode. And if you also, I downloaded the um, MX Player and MX Player plays all its videos in um, landscape mode. Um, so my, f I think it must have a gyroscope but Acer basically when they first announced this they announced it with ice cream sandwich but then they realized they quickly have to do jelly bean so because they've been working on the jelly bean tweaks lately and they had the deadline to release this they left probably their screen ro rotation until it's updated for more I think Build quality, I would say, good. Not impressive, but good. Uh, of course, all plastic. Uh, it doesn't have like the Nexus rubbery sort of plastic feel. It has a smooth plastic feel. I would have preferred the rubbery one, the non-slip one. Uh, just also, when you get it, uh, I would say go to the settings, the brightness settings, and uh, switch automatic mode on because it will come with very low... Uh, brightness settings then you can look it higher just a quick look at the speaker just one speaker we got there same as Nexus you get one speaker Kindle Fire has two sp stereo speakers and the uh, front camera is better than the Nexus it's the 2 megapixel front camera comparing to Nexus 7 has got 1.2 megapixel camera front you got the Play Store um, so it's the full Jelly bean there, so which is great. You can do video and pictures with the front camera, but it's mostly for Skype chats and things like that. You, it's not really for nature pictures. For that, you've got my phone. I don't need the front camera. This will be mostly used um, in the house, in the couch. I like seven inch because I can hold it with one hand. So overall, it's a nice little tablet. Um, 179, including delivery, next day delivery from eBuyer. They're not sponsored me anything, but I think they're the only ones selling it right now. So just a quick demo now of games. Games do play in full landscape mode. But uh, later on, I'll show you guys if the gyroscopy games, although I don't like them. I, I don't use this for games. I don't play games. I've got my i7 PC for that. But um, this will be mainly for browsing and watching videos really 
on the couch. It does come with RF 2012, which I'm totally not interested in. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say. It's uh, For me, better than Nexus, better than Kindle Fire. More advantages to me because I've been searching. So thanks, guys, for watching the visit. Bye-bye.